Hi Michael, welcome back to Snowmind's online academy website. Uh, my name is Thomas Mitzau, here I am, and today I'm going to be your online coach. And, uh, the first thing I would like to point out is the turn shape, the turn philosophy. As you can clearly see here, He's trying to shape his turns nicely. So the turn shape, the trace left behind his skis, uh, looks like an S-shaped turn, like a, like a letter S. So this is our goal. We are linking S's one behind each other. Solid mobile stance. Have a look how mobile um, our, our skier stays all the way through the arcs. All the joints of a skier's body are proportionally bent and ready to move. Also, his hands are maintained in front of his torso, of his upper body here. Uh, the upper body itself, his abdominals especially, Okay, are uh, activated so that he is nice and strong right in the middle of his body. His legs are leaning into the turn more than the upper body. Okay, so therefore his hips are being shifted in, whereas his upper body okay, stays nicely upright. So, this is something we call a weight shift. And a weight shift is occurring right in between the turns. So, your stance is nice and compact. As a result of this rise up and the hips opening, your balance is actually shifting slightly behind the center of your feet. So, uh, instead of initiating the turn from the legs, as demonstrated by our demonstrator uh, in the previous part, your torso is turning first and your legs are just following after. Also, another result of uh, this upper body initiation, upper body rotation, is something we call a scissor shape. So, as you can see here, one ski is pointing this way and the other ski is pointing this way. You are rising slightly upwards. What is happening by doing that? You are also opening your hip joint. So, hip joints are no longer flexed and bent as uh, knees and uh, ankles are. That means he's not really opening any of the joints. The benefit of it is that he's able to maintain a nice centered position of his keys all the way through the transition, which actually resulting in this shape of a turn. So it's more a J turn rather than C turn. Okay, so our goal is 